tears and tension on the Lebanese border. Just two kilometers from Syria, a makeshift settlement. It's one of hundreds scattered across Lebanon. These children have fled conflict, but no escape here from disease and malnutrition. This mother of four says her eight-month-old son has diarrhea. And he's vomiting too, even he is not able to eat or to drink uh, water. A father wants us to see his daughter. The child is malnourished. She, she just lost appetite, she doesn't eat or drink anything. There are no showers here, no toilets, no cooking areas. These families are somehow surviving with no dignity. Are you going to say hello? Visits to the camp, like this one from UNICEF Ireland, provide a break from the miserable monotony of life here. The pit that really sh shook me there was seeing two little girls the exact same age as, as my two daughters, but you know, so from tiny little wrists, tiny, you can see their bones, it just, um, you just, you think if that's your kid, what would you do? And you would do anything. These people really badly need help. Children need it most. In this tent, a psychologist tells us about one boy who has stopped talking. He'd seen his mother killed in front of him. Okay. Uh, beheaded uh, due to the, a bomb. It's a tragedy so terrible, yet in this camp, it's also so typical. Last week, the UN launched the largest appeal in its history, seeking $5 billion for humanitarian aid for the people of Syria. In Lebanon alone, you'll find a million reasons why this help is so desperately required. Philip Bromwell, RTE News, on the Lebanese-Syrian border.